Make it to the Olympics is, is our Super Bowl. But being able to be the guy on the grand stage to represent your country is kind of the, the pinnacle. It kind of started with a uh, visit to the cooler in North Atlanta in Alpharetta. And I met with a coach that uh, that had been wrestling with me and has been coaching for a long time. And he made a call to a uh, to the Olympic Greco coach named Steve Frazier. And Steve just called me and said, "Hey, I've heard good things. Well, we'd like to have you come out and train with us." It was it, from that point on. It was kind of just a just that dream journey. <laughs> yes, I met Christian September nineteenth, nineteen eighty nine at Georgia Baptist Hospital. It was eventful. <laughs> well, as his mom, of course, you know, uh, just to, to see your child be successful in what they love. To be honest, this has been a hard decision for me just because he's so close to graduating from college and me having to wrestle through um, him having to drop out of school to go chase this dream. But a friend kind of through talking with him helped me realize that this window of opportunity for him and the sport is so narrow, he'll never really have this opportunity again. Uh, just, it's so important, for, I feel, for him to see himself be successful. He's given so much to the sport, um, sometimes to his own detriment. Just to see him be successful, it's something he loves so much and something he sacrificed for, uh, again, would be just, you know, a mom's dream for her child. He deserves it, you know. He just—I've I've seen him work, and he just—he just works hard. And you know, even even when he works hard, he still manages to joke around and make it look not quite so serious. Yeah, Coach Frazier gave him a call and said, "Number one, I don't call people, and uh, number two, I would like you to come out here." And he went out there for one week and sat down and talked with them and worked out with them for one week. And the last day that he was leaving, they all sat around and said, Christian, we would like you to come back. Uh, we think that you could be our next world champion, Greco. Uh, we just need you to train here and you do what you can to get back out here. I think that Christian has uh, shown great perseverance um, through his high school and um, college career and did not stop because of difficulty or anything that came his way. He fought and fought and fought. You know, he's, he's just uh, somebody, I guess, who's got a heart of gold. Uh, he's, he's there to help anybody who needs help. And, do, and, and he himself, like, is, is, I found, actually is, uh, in order to be a good coach or to be a good wrestler, you also have to become a good, you know, a, a good coach. And he's somebody who can actually go, he, he likes to give back and coach people. And, you know, it's just, to me, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a unique person to uh, be able to do something like that. Christian likes pink. Uh, I remember when he was in high school and I guess in college as well, he would always wear pink. So um, he always wear these weird pink socks. So if he makes it to the Olympics, everybody wear pink. I'm, I've always been very big into, you know, I want to honor the people that are here um, because they, they deserve it. That to me, this, the stuff that they've gone through and the stuff that they've done for me has been enormous. And so being able to, to come home and, and honor them through, you know, either making the Olympics or, or winning or doing whatever that is, it, is really the goal. And, and, and wrestling in the Olympics is wonderful, but making it to the top of the mountain without anybody to go there with you is, is about as fun as falling down it. And, and the journey to where we're going is, is where is where all the joy's at and being able to look back on that through the through the hard times and the and the good times. Mm -hmm.